I'm John Coates from RFC. This is the Educational Center here in Madeira Beach, Florida. Here we got Dead Steve Jobs here um, for the unboxing of the Galaxy S7. Okay, and um, with the Galaxy S7 came the VR gear. I'm do we are doing a, a test on the amount of radiation from the S7 at four inches away, mainly because that's approximately the thickness of what this this actual virtual headset is. When we look at the actual distance between where your forehead and eyes are, actually it's probably a little less than that, but we're actually gonna go with, um, with the four inches. Actually, it's, it's definitely much closer to probably two. Um, you know, but at its farthest point away, you know, you're, you're approximately four inches. Um, but it is what we're looking at here is this is the brand new, um, this coming, when you get the, uh, you know, this thing here pre-ordered, you got these things for free. But I want, I want parents to be alerted to something. Um, one really big thing is let's go ahead and, and bring up our phone. We've already got the, the phone activated. Now, this is the um, S7. And uh, one thing that's very important to note is that the S7 in its owner's manual, it says important safety information on page nine there. Now, when we go to page nine, we can actually see the FCC um, SAR information and it also lets us know that there is a minimum separation distance um, for each of the phones and I believe this one is 1.5 oh, I'll have to find it on here it's 1.5 centimeters from the body if you can see that okay and the SAR value for this on simultaneous usage of the body is 1.59 kilowatts per square gram that is one tenth under the legal limit as far as exposure limits here in the U.S. The U.S. guideline is actually 1.60 and um, this phone actually at simultaneous uh, uh, emissions is only one hundredth of a watt under that. So now let's take a look at this at four inches away because see this phone snaps right into here. So, and actually we're, 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 we're gonna keep it at four inches away regardless, just to kind of give you an idea of the intensity of this thing. Um, first, let's go ahead and go to a video real quick. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, play us a video. And as you can see, at four inches away, this thing is totally pegging, pegging the needle completely, okay? Now, we're gonna go ahead, and I mean, that goes for pretty much any time you pick a song. And this thing is going to go just off the charts, okay? Now, that's that's not even connected with, with all the other stuff, Bluetooth and everything. I'm just connecting data, um, doing, a, doing a video, okay? So, this gives you an idea of the radiation at four inches away, okay? Now, the reason why this is a big concern is that this is now going to be, children are going to be the biggest uh, adopters of, of uh, technology like this. And when we talk about in adopting a technology like this, here we have this thing now inside of this, and you can see that now it's going to go ahead and turn off now that it's inside of it. But as soon as an app is playing, this thing is going to go ahead and really start to put out, you know, a lot of radiation. Um, you can see the phone is completely off at the moment, but you know what, we're going to give it a second because if... Um, Let's see if we can test the amount of radiation that comes from it right from the eyes. Let me find an app to, to play. Um, let's see, how about the... Um, wow, these things are really cool, but I'm going to tell you what. Um, there's... Uh, we might have to be a little worried about this because this is, this is just so close to a kid's eyes. Um, and uh, the phone is only literally inches away. Now, it appears that at the moment, we're not downloading anything, um, unless it's up to your head, it's not on. So, somewhat of a deceiving reading for sure. Um, and from the front, she's really upset. Well, that's putting it right up against it as well. But, um, but as well we can see is they are definitely higher readings than ambient and we're getting into the, into the range of here. Let's put this right to where your eyes would be anyway. Um, and as you can see, it's maxing out with the phone in it right there. Um, so your children's eyes are gonna be exposed to this type of radiation while there's an app.
inside of this thing playing. Look at this. This is maxing out the meter. This is exactly where your eyes are going to be. And this is why parents need to be concerned about it because there is no bone protection, um, especially with younger children. Their brains aren't developed all the way yet. Um, and this is something that we really got to worry about because as you can see, this thing is just completely pegging when we actually put it to where our head would actually be. Um, and uh, that is actually a really big concern because as you can see, this thing, it, it puts the phone directly in front of your eyes. Um, and as you just witnessed from the meter, that this radiation is going right through this thing and right into your eyes and therefore you don't have any, any one, your eyes are, are like I said, uh, very sensitive um, to electromagnetic fields and radiation. Um, and uh, not only that, there, there are studies that even uh, possibly attribute um, cataracts, things like that.